Hey everybody, it's Jerry, and what I'm going to show you how to make today is a really easy and healthy and good tasting um, macaroni and cheese. And this is going to be vegan and gluten free. So there's really not going to be too much bad stuff in it, so you're going to like it. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is bring a pot of water to a boil, which I have over here. And I'm going, once it's boiling, I'm going to add one package, um, this is an 8 ounce package of uh, gluten-free macaroni. Now this happens to be quinoa. Um, you can use brown rice, uh, pasta, anything that's uh, gluten-free. Um, but uh, I'm going to try this one. I've actually never tried this one before, but I'll give it a go. So just empty the box into the boiling water. And then just um, stir that pretty regularly just to make sure that the uh, pasta doesn't stick to the bottom. But we're going to let that boil for about 10 minutes. So just keep an eye on it that the water doesn't boil over. If it starts to boil over, just turn it down. Turn on heat so that it doesn't boil over. And while that's cooking, um, we're going to take another pot and we're going to put in uh, 32 ounces, eight, that's uh, four cups of almond milk. Now you want to get unsweetened almond milk. Um, don't get the vanilla almond milk for this. You, you want the just plain unsweetened vanilla, uh, not vanilla almond milk. So we're just going to heat that up. Just put it over medium heat. The nice thing about working with Non-dairy milk is, you don't really have to worry if it starts to boil, it's not going to ruin it, but uh, best not to let this get too, too hot. You just want to kind of let it simmer. Um, and then we're going to add to that three tablespoons of tahini. And then we're going to add um, one teaspoon of uh, sage. And a teaspoon of basil. And then we'll just add a little pepper, however uh, you like it, just to taste. And I'll just stir that up and just uh, let that continue to heat. Okay, so once your um, almond milk and spices and all is, is nice and hot, we're going to take one package of Daya uh, shredded cheddar cheese. Uh, Daya is a great product that is vegan cheese and it melts and tastes like cheese, so it's a great substitute um, for recipes where you'd normally use cheese. Um, so we have the cheddar cheese and we're going to add that into the mixture. Let that melt in. So just stir that up. Okay, and our pasta is cooked now, so we're just going to turn that heat off and then we're going to uh, drain the pasta with a colander. So just pour it into the colander in the sink and just drain out the water. Okay, and then we're going to add some uh, vegetables to this liquid mixture. I have about a cup of chopped mushrooms and a cup of chopped tomatoes um, that I'm going to add in. Um, these are great tomatoes which have been just sliced in half and some organic mushrooms which, which have been chopped up. So we're just going to add that right in. that all together. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat off from this pot. We're going to bring back the other pot. Now we have the water drained out of the pasta, so we just have our cooked pasta in here. And we're going to pour the liquid mixture into this pot, because it's a bigger pot. Okay, so let's mix this all together really well. 
Okay, now I have a 9 by 13 baking pan that I'm going to pour the mixture into. Okay, and then just spread it out so it's nice and even in the, uh, in the pan and just put that aside for a minute. And now I have a smaller pot with uh, about two tablespoons of coconut oil. Now coconut oil um, is thick when you buy it and when you heat it, it will essentially melt into a liquid. So we're just going to heat this just to melt it. Okay, and then once that's melted, I'm going to add to that a half a cup of brown rice breadcrumbs. So this is essentially gluten-free uh, breadcrumbs. And then just mix that together. Take that off the heat, and you'll see it'll it forms sort of a crumbly kind of mixture. I'm going to add another half a cup of breadcrumbs because this is a it's, a it's a little wet. All right, so now we have a nice crumbly consistency and we're going to sprinkle this on top of the uh, macaroni and cheese in the pan. Okay and then we're going to um, sprinkle a little bit of the Dea mozzarella cheese um, on top of this. So just, just a little bit of a sprinkling just to give it a little extra cheese on top. Okay, and then finally um, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika just on top. Just to give it a little extra flavor. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. And then we're just going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And then we'll take it out and see how it looks. Okay, so we're back and here we have the finished macaroni and cheese. Looks good, huh? So now we're going to taste it. It's the real test. So here we go. Mm. Very good. Try it yourself at home and enjoy.